hello today i am going to cover topic of a matrix transpose so first we will see what is transpose okay so transpose means to change so in a matrix what we are going to change we will change rows into a column or column into a row so that will become a matrix transpose so we will change interchanging of rows and columns and it is represented by a apostrophe this like this or a power small t or a capital t it can be represented like this and what will be the order of a matrix after transpose so order of a matrix after transpose will if a is of order m cross n, m by n then the transpose matrix will be n by n and element of a matrix will become if element is a i j then in transpose the element will become a a j i so now let's see this example in this you can understand better so what is this this is a row this is a row so row will become column so a transpose will be equal to 5 1 4 and it will become like this row is changed to column so it is a transpose matrix what is the order of this matrix order of this matrix is 1 by 3 because as it is it has one row and three columns so now what we have said that the order will be changed into n by m so now here three rows three by one so order has changed and element what element will become element will become a i j will become a j i so here we can see here that uh, this is what is the uh, location of this element this is a 1 1 this is a 1 2 a this is a 1 3 so what it has become this has become this will seem first row first column this is second row second column and this has become third row first column so except as as you can see that the location of diagonal matrix means i is equals to if i is equals to i then it is remain same so location of like this a11 will be same a22 will be same and a 3 3 will be same in a transpose only a i j is changed to a j i like this so if for example if a 1 3 is there it will be changed to a 3 1 okay now this is for understanding now let's see another example we'll change the color of ink okay so now let's see this example here we will change this as it has a different color so we will change this column 1 and column 2 here we will change columns so B transpose v transpose will be row okay so column 1 will be changed to row so it will become 2 0 1 and this column 2 is changed to row it will become 1 3 4 so what is here we will see order what is the order of this matrix order of this matrix is 3 rows and 2 columns so now what it has become it has become two rows and three columns and we can see this location a11 is same as a11 but this a12 this is what is a12 
this location is a12 so a12 has changed to a21 here we can see it has become a21 similarly we will see next example we will see next oh, next example we will see here So here we will change column uh, rows. This is first row, this is second row, this is third row. Here we will represent is row 1, row 2, row 3. What is the order of this matrix? Order of this matrix is 3 by 3. So what will be D transpose? D transpose will be equal to rows will be changed to columns. So first row will become first column so it is first row is 214 we will make it column 214 second row is changed to this second row is changed to column it will become 142 similarly last row will become column it will change to like this 153 it will become column and order will be 3 by 3. Here we can see that the location of diagonal matrix as it is A11, this is A11, this is A22, this is A33. These locations are same as I have told here that A11 will be same as A11 will be same as A11 in A transpose. So these locations will be same and this A12 a12 has become a21 a and other locations are changed like this a i j will be changed to a j i here this is i equal to j okay then that location will be same so what we can conclude here we can conclude that the A transpose, the location of elements A, I, J in transpose will become A, J, I. Okay. So, let's next example we will see. What it is saying? It is saying that properties of first is find the element of A, 2, 3, A, 2, 2 and A, 3. 3 1 of a transpose here we will find the element of a transpose as we know that in a transpose a i j will be equal to a j i so as first element what element we want to find a 2 3 element we need to find so so that is equal to this element will be equal to here this a23 is equal to a32 of transpose so what is the a32 a32 here is third row this is third row second column so this is the element of a transpose so that is equal to 5 similarly what second element we need to find a22 as we i told that i if i is equals to j then that el location element will be remain same so that will be equal to a22 only so what is a22 second row second column so this is 4 next what is told to find it is a31 so that will be equal to a13 transpose so what is 13 element first row first row and third column so it is 4 so what is the value of that this is 4 so 
directly we can find the element no without changing the uh, matrix if we know the property that uh, aij will become agi in transpose and the if i is equals to j then the element will re remain same in a as well as in a transpose so next is we will see the properties properties of a transpose so if what is this property if we take first if we had any matrix a if we take its transpose and again if we do its transpose then it will become a only so let's see with this first example okay so we'll find here a transpose so what is will be the a transpose this row will become a column 5 1 4 this is a transpose now what we need to find we need to find again a a transpose of a transpose so again this is a transpose we need to find its transpose so we will do its transpose or for if for your understanding you can take it uh, you can assume it p so if this is p so we need to find p transpose so this is p transpose so what will be the p transpose p transpose will be column this is column here only so column will change to row so it is 5 1 4 so we can see here that the property is satisfied that if we will do transpose of a transpose then it will become a original matrix now well, let's see with this example this is b we need to find its b transpose so what is b transpose here what is the order of this matrix 3 by 2 so what will be the order of this matrix this will be 2 by 3 so what it will become this column column 1 this is column 2 so column 1 will change to row so 2 0 1 we will make it row now column 2 we will make it row so 1 3 4 so what is the order of the matrix order is 2 by 3 now suppose we will assume it Q. so again we will do the q transpose so if we will take the we will assume this as a for row 1 and row 2 so in transpose what it will become it will change to column so row 1 is changed to column so 2 0 1 we will make it next next row 2 will become column 2 that is 1 3 4 and its order will be 3 by 2 so we can see that q dash is equals to b equal to b so here also the properties is satisfied similarly we will see this example last d we need to find d transpose d transpose is equals to here we have seen that we will make this is this is row 1 this is row 2 this is row 3 so rows will change to column so row 1 2 1 4 will become column next row 2 will become column 1 4 2 next row 3 will become column that is 1 5 3 so this is d transpose now again we will do d transpose and again it's transpose so now these are what one four and four so this is what is this this is row one this is row two this is row 3. So, again we will make it a column. So, 2, 1, 1. Row 2 will change to column.
column that is row 2 1 4 5 will become changed to column and again last row this is 4 2 3 will change to column 4 2 3 so it has become 3 by 3 matrix and it is equal to D only. So next property what is next property? Second property says that if we multiply a k any constant where k is any constant is multiplied with matrix A and then its transpose is taken that will be equal to a uh, if matrix transpose is taken and then its uh, then k is multiplied with it then it both are same so let's prove it so first we will find out k a so what will be what is the value of k k value is 2 and what is a here so what will be k a k a is equal to we will multiply k with all elements of matrix so 2 2 0 1 1 3 4 so first we will multiply it so we will get what we will get we will get 4 0 2 2 6 4 2 ja 8 this is multiplied with k is multiplied with this now this is k a so now what is what we need to find we need to find k a transpose what is k a transpose k a transpose we will make this row column into row so this column into row and this column into row so what is this is column 1 this is column 2 so column 1 will become row 1 so 4 0 2 and column 2 will become row 2 that is 2 6 8 so this is k a dash now we will solve the right hand side that is k a transpose so what is a transpose we can see here a transpose is a transpose here we will find uh, first we will find what is a transpose a transpose will be we will make column into rows so 201 column will become row 201 and 134 column will become into row change into rows 134 for this is a transpose now we will multiply two constant with it so now we need to find k a dash so for k a dash we need to multiply two with all elements of a transpose 2 0 1 1 3 4 so it is equal to 4 0 2 2 6 8 so what we see we see that this is equal to these both are equal so hence prove that that k a transpose is equals to k a transpose next what is this property says so third property is this that if we sum two matrix and then trans take its transpose or if we separately take transpose of a matrix then we sum that sum that two matrix that will be that both matrix will be same that like this here what we have we have two matrix a and b first we have taken sum of these matrix and then we change it to their transpose 
or either we can do first we will take transpose of a matrix and transpose of b matrix and then we will sum both that both are same so now let's first we will here uh, find transpose a transpose so this first column will become row 201 next column 134 will become row like this this is a transpose similarly we will find out b transpose so what will be b transpose first column will become row that is 451 will change to 451 row next column 341 will change to row that is 341 this is column so now we will first sum these first we will find a plus b so what is a plus b we will write here 2 0 1 1 3 4 and sum it with b matrix that is 4 5 1 3 4 1 now we will add both this matrix so it will become 2 plus 4 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, this is 5, 3 plus 4 is 7, 1 plus 1, 2, 4 plus 1, 5. So, this is A plus B. Now, we will find out A. Next step is to find out A plus B transpose. So, here first row this first row sorry first column we will change it to row so 6 5 2 and next 4 7 5 column will change to row 4 7 5 this is a plus b transpose now we have find out this here that uh, uh, a what is a transpose and b transpose so let's add them a transpose plus b transpose is equals to we'll write here 2 0 1 a transpose 1 3 4 this is a transpose we will sum it with b transpose that is 4 5 1 3 4 1 and we will add it add both these so 2 plus 4 is 6 this is 5 that is 1 plus 1 2 same location elements are added so 1 plus 3 is 4 3 plus 4 is 7 and 4 plus 1 is 5 so what we can see that these both are equal so, hence we see that our this property is proved that if we first sum two matrix and take their transpose or either we first take transpose of both matrix and then add them both will be equal. So, our property is proved that A plus B transpose is equal to a transpose plus b transpose so what is next property this is next property is a b transpose means if a is multiplied with b and then its transpose is taken that will be equal to b transpose and a transpose only we have to see that the order will be b transpose a transpose we have to multiply with b b transpose with a transpose we can't do it a transpose b transpose because their order will be changed so now let's first here we will write what is a transpose a transpose will be 
column will be changed to row. So column 1, 2, 0, 1 will become row and column 2 will become column 1 will column 2 will become row 2, 1, 3, 4. This is A transpose. Similarly, what is B transpose? B transpose first row. This row we will change this row to column. So this row is changed to column 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 and next this row is changed to column 2, 2, 3. Okay. Now first we will find out what is A, B multiplication. A multiplied by B. So first we will write here a 2 0 1 1 3 4 is multiplied with b 1 0 1 and 2 2 3 first we will see whether they are defined or not so what is the order of this matrix order of this matrix is 3 by 2 and what is the order of this matrix this matrix is 2 by 3 here we see that column is equals to row so this is defined and we will do the multiplication so what will be the order of final matrix order of final matrix will be 3 by 3 so let's do multiplication so what is the rule of multiplication e row this row will be multiplied with each column each column okay so 2 So, what is become 2 ones are 2, 2 plus 2 ones are 2 plus 2. Next, another first row with second column. So, 2 zeros are 0 plus 2 ones are 2. Next, 2 ones are 2, 2 ones are 2. I, I have written wrong somewhere. No, no. It is correct. 2, 2, 3 is there only. No? 2, 2, 3. Okay. 2, 2, 3. Okay. So, this will become 2, 1, za. First is multiply with 2, 1, za 2 plus 1 into 3. That is 3. Okay. Next is second row that is 0 into 0 0 plus 3 2 ja 6 next 0 plus 6 next 0 into 1 0 and 3 3 is a 0 plus 9 next 1 into 1 plus 4 2 ja 8. Similarly, 1 into 0 plus 4 2 ja 8. Similarly, next is 1 into 1 plus this is this row is multiplied with this column. Third column 1 into 1 plus 4 3 is a 12. One second. Uh, this is 1 into 1 plus 4 3 is a 12 so what is the matrix will become very less spaces here this will write like this this will become 4 2 5 6 6 9 9 8 13 and what is a b transpose oh, where to do no space so now we will find out a b transpose so here i will write a b transpose 
will be equal to 4 2 5 4 2 5 6 6 9 and 9 8 13 now let's find out a trans so what we will equal to it will be equal to b transpose a transpose so we will write here b transpose is 1 0 1 2 2 3 next is a transpose is 2 0 1 1 3 4 so first we will define it is 3 by 2 matrix and this is 2 by 3 matrix this is also because uh, column yes this is column is equals to row so it is defined so now let's find what is the multiplication so first row this is row is multiplied with each column okay i have written correct okay so 1 into 1 is 1 1 into sorry 1 into 2 is 2 plus 2 into 1 is 2 next is 1 into 0 is 0 plus 6 next is 1 into 1 is 1 plus 4 to ja 8 this is matrix similarly Similarly, next two zeros are zero plus two two ja four. Next is sorry one second two zeros are zero and two ones are this is two. This is two. Next is two zeros are zero zero into zero plus two six. Next is zero into one plus two four za eight. Next is uh, next is next is next is one into two is two plus three into one is three next zero into zero into one is zero plus three is three is nine next is one into three one into one is one plus four three is a twelve sorry twelve so it will become 4 6 9 2 6 8 5 9 oh, 5 9 and 13 now mm, i think it is equal this both are so we can see that these both are equal 469 is 469 268 59 13 so hence these are equal and hence this property is verified now after transpose only we can understand these two types of matrix that's why i have le left these two matrix so now cover these two matrix what is matrix is symmetric matrix so what is symmetric matrix for symmetric matrix the first condition is it should be a square matrix and after that in square matrix first condition is that it should be square matrix and second a matrix will be a symmetric matrix if a is equal to a transpose means if its element that is a i j will be equal to a j i then only the matrix is a symmetric matrix and we know that in a transpose a i j will become a j i this is a property of transpose also so 
we see that so with this we can conclude that we can means we can uh, verify or we can uh, conclude that the element of location that uh, in a symmetric matrix the element of location a11 a1 a22 and a33 will not change that what is the what are the what is this location this location is location of a diagonal like we can see this matrix okay this location this is a diagonal elements so in if we transpose in transpose matrix also the diagonal elements location will remain same their elements will not change as similarly this will be the condition in symmetric matrix only what we have to see here that a i j element will be equal to a j i a j i that is if a 1 2 element will be equal to a 2 1 so we can see here that if we need to find if we do here what we will do we will if we do the transpose find out the transpose of this matrix then what will be the transpose transpose will be this is a square matrix so the transpose will be also a 3 by 3 matrix so here if we do we will change this first row in column so it will become 2 1 4 next will this is 1 4 2 row will become column 1 4 2 and third this will third row will become third column 4 2 c 3 so what we can find out here that the location of diagonal element here what is this location this is a diagonal element location so this location is the, these elements are same in transpose now here what is this what is the location of this matrix this is a 1 2 this is a 1 3 now we see here that a 1 2 element a 1 2 element is equal to a 2 1 what is 2 1 2 is second row first column is equal to 1 similarly a 1 3 is equal to a 3 1 what is 3 1 third row first column so what is this 4 4 so it is 4 similarly what is uh, remain here what is this this is second row third column that is a 2 3 is equal to a 3 2 what is 3 2 this is third row second column is equal to so we see that this is a symmetric matrix as it is satisfying all these properties of a symmetric matrix so now let us see in another example if we take its transpose so we will find out its transpose so what is the transpose of this matrix transpose of this matrix will be 2 minus 1 4 second is minus 1 4 minus 2 and last is, row is this 4 4 minus 2 3 so now what we can see here we see here that this location 2 4 3 elements are same 2 4 3 elements are same and this a 1 2 is equals to a 2 1 a 1 3 is equal to a 3 1 similarly a 2 3 is equal to a 3 2 so this is a also a symmetric matrix symmetric matrix so similarly if we take c transpose so c transpose is simple 5 1 and this 5 1 will change to column 5 1 and this column will change to row 1 2 so here also 
these location elements are same diagonal elements are same and this is a12 is equals to a21 so it is also satisfying the property of a symmetric matrix that ac is equal to c transpose and all elements of aij is equals to aji so this is also a symmetric matrix hope you have understood i will uh, explain you more in coming example so here what we need to find we need to find the value of a b c what is the value of a b c if a is a symmetric matrix so if it is given that a is a symmetric matrix so first you write all the properties of a symmetric matrix what is property of a mat symmetric matrix that a should be equal to a transpose and we can find out with this and it should be a square matrix square matrix so what it is given that it is a square matrix because it is a 3 by 3 matrix now another property is what is a i j element will be equal to a j i so what is element we need to find we need to find the element a what is a location a location is equal to a 1 2 first row second column that will be equal to a 3 1 third row what is third row this is third row okay sorry sorry 2 1 2 1 so uh, what is second row this is second row and first column so that is equals to minus 1 this is a 2 1 now what we need to find the element b so what is the location of b b is third row second column and it will be equal to a 2 3 means second row third column what is this is second row third column this is third column so this will be equal to minus 2 similarly next element what need we need to find we need to find c and c is equals to what is the location of c third row first column means a 3 1 is equals to a 1 3 by the property of symmetric matrix 1 3 so what is 1 3 first row means this is our first row this is first row third column that is equal to 4 so if we know the properties of a symmetric matrix we can directly find the value of a b c and tell whether the matrix is symmetric or not next like this another type of matrix is skew matrix okay so skew matrix what is the property of skew matrix first is what is the condition that should be satisfied for the skew matrix is this that a should be equal to minus of a transpose okay so first condition is it should be square matrix and second a should be equal to minus of a transpose means if this is satisfied then this will be satisfied that a i j element will be equal to minus of a j i so so in this case if in this case diagonal elements we know that diagonal in diagonal elements the location is a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3 or a 4 4 means here i is equals to j so this is i equal to j if i i equal to minus of i i minus i j is equal so we can replace j by i both side so i i is equals to minus of i i 
that it will goes to that side that will become 2i 2ai is equals to 0 so i i is equals to 0 means this proves that the diagonal elements should be 0 0 what I have written in this property summary also that in skew symmetric matrix the diagonal elements will be 0 because of this condition this condition because ij is equal to minus of a, aji and we will if we will change this aii and aii that i is equal to j or we can make it jj also so then it will equal to 0. So, diagonal elements in a skew symmetric matrix are 0. So, similar. So, what is this? This is a square symmetric. Is, this is symmetric matrix in which diagonal elements are not 0. And this is a skew symmetric matrix in which diagonal elements are 0. And its location here uh, in symmetric matrix A1, 2 is equal to A. 2 1 but in skew symmetric matrix a 1 2 should be equal to minus of a 2 1 what we can see here a 1 2 is equal to minus of a 2 1 similarly a 1 3 first row third column is equal to third row second first column that is 4 similarly this is equal to minus of this so this is a skew symmetric matrix next comes so like that what we have solved for the symmetric matrix we will solve for skew symmetric matrix we need to find out the element a b c so as we know the property what is property of uh, skew symmetric matrix it should be a square matrix next condition is a is equal to minus of a transpose that is a i j will be equal to a j i minus of a j i and diagonal elements will be will be equal to 0. So, from this property we can directly say that the value of c will be equal to 0. Now, we need to find this a. So, what is the location of a? a is first row second column. First row second column that will be equal to minus of a to 1 a21 so equal to a21 what is a21 second row first column it's minus we have to take okay so minus of minus 1 so a will be 1 similarly what we need to find sec next element b so what is the location of b location of b is third row second column third row second column is equal to minus of second row third column so what is second row second row is this and third column is this minus 2 so we will find minus of minus 2 so that will become 2 so value of a b c will be so matrix what will be the final matrix of skew symmetric matrix we can write here a it will be equal to a will be equal to 0 what is a 1 minus 4 minus 1 0 minus 2 4 this is what is b we have found we 2 and this c is 0 so diagonal element are 0 this 1 2 is equal to minus 1 this 2 1 uh, sorry 1 3 is equal to 3 1 that is minus of this and this is also minus 2 is equal to this 2 means second row third column is equals to third row 
second column of minus means a minus 3 2 is equal to minus of a 2 3 so this is skew symmetric matrix property is satisfied next what it is saying that for any square matrix a with real number entries entries a plus a transpose is a symmetric matrix and a minus a is a skew symmetric matrix so for this let's find out what we have to do first we have we will take Mm, we will take first we will prove symmetric matrix so so we will write b is equals to a plus a transpose okay now what is b transpose here b transpose is equals to a plus a transpose whole transpose so as we know that with properties it will become a transpose plus a transpose whole transpose is equals to a trans a transpose plus a so we can write it like this a plus a transpose that is equals to b so what it is says that b is equals to b transpose so it is satisfying the property of symmetric matrix this is symmetric matrix now let's take second exam second skew symmetric matrix here we will see skew symmetric metric matrix so let's take c is equals to a minus a transpose so now we will take c transpose what will be c transpose a minus a transpose is a dash we will solve it a transpose minus this is a transpose whole transpose that will be equal to transpose minus of a transpose means sorry uh, no no this is uh, this is how it will become a transpose minus a so if we want to write we will take common minus here and we will write it like this a minus of a transpose so it is equal to minus c what is the property of a skew symmetric matrix that any matrix should be equal to minus of its transpose so we see that that is equal to symmetric skew symmetric matrix now this is a any what this is a property what is the this property this is says that any matrix any square matrix can be expressed as the sum of symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix so let's what we will do we will prove it here how it is it can be proved as we have seen previously that uh, if we will take so let's see that any matrix can be expressed any square matrix can be expressed as the sum of a symmetric and a skew symmetric matrix so so means uh, i have proved previously that a plus a transpose uh, is a symmetric matrix so 
any constant multiplied with it will also be a symmetric matrix. Similarly, uh, A minus A transpose is a skew symmetric matrix. So, uh, if constant is also multiplied with that, then it will also be a skew symmetric matrix. So, we can take it like this. We can write, um, second, we can write this A is equals to P plus Q where P is equals to 1 by 2 A plus A transpose that is symmetric matrix. Symmetric matrix and similarly Q is equals to 1 by 2 a minus A transpose is equals to skew symmetric matrix. Metric matrix. So, we will use this for solving the questions. Now, we can see it also by solving that it will come A only. So, if we take common here 1 by 2 and solve this, then it will become A plus A transpose plus A minus A transpose. So, here this both will cancel out and we will get 1 by 2 is equals to 2A and 2 to cancel. So, it is equals to A. But we no, no need to solve this. We are we are seeing this only for solving taking this because questions are coming so we we should know that this is equal to sum of any matrix if to if some symmetric matrix and skew symmetric matrix are uh, summed then that will become a matrix original matrix only so let's take example for this so, this is what is express A as the sum of two matrix such that one is symmetric matrix and another is skew symmetric matrix. Okay. So, first what we know that A is sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix that is 1 by 2 A plus A transpose plus 1 by 2 a minus a transpose so this is p and this is q so first find out we will find out here what is a transpose so a transpose is equal will be equal to we will make row in column so 1 8 4, 4, 7, 2, 2, 6, 5. This is A transpose. Now, find the value of P. So, P is equals to 1 by 2 A plus A transpose. That is equals to 1 by 2 A. We will write here A. That is 1 4, 2, 8, 7, 6 and 4, 2, 5. Next, we will write here 1 by 2, A transpose. That is 1, 8, 4 has become column. 1, 8, 4, 4, 7, 2 and last is 2, 6, 5. We will add it. Go to next slide because the space is not there. So, here we will solve. So, next P is equals to 1 by 2. After solving, we will get 2, 12, 6, 12, 14, 8 and 6, 8, 10. 
so now we separate this space because we need it so now what is p p is 1 6 3 6 7 4 and 3 4 5 we see that this is symmetric matrix because it's a1 2 element is equals to a21 a13 is equals to a31 a23 is equals to a32 now we will find out here this is symmetric matrix matrix as aij is equals to aji now let's find out q so Q is equals to 1 by 2 A. A is A is 1, 8, 4, 4, 7, 2, 2, 6, 5, minus of 1 by 2. This is 1, 4, 2, this is transpose, a transpose, 8, 7, 6 and 4, 2, 5. We will subtract it, we will get 1 by 2 matrix, we will write here, it will become 0, 8 minus 4 is, 8 minus 4 is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. 2, 4 minus 8 is minus 4, 7 minus 7 is 0, 2 minus 6 is minus 4, 2 minus 4 is minus 2, this is 4, this is 0, now Q will become 0, 2, 1, minus 2, 0, minus 2, minus 1, 2 and 0. This is a skew symmetric matrix as we see that diagonal elements are 0. A, 1, 2 is equals to minus of A, 2, 1. Similarly, this is of minus, this is of a 2 3 is equal to a 3 2 now what we know we know that a should be equal to p plus q now we will add p and q so what is p p is 1 6 3 6 7 4 and 3 4 5 plus what is q 0 2 1 minus 2 0 minus 2 minus 1 2 0 so after subtracting both these we will get 1 minus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 1 6 plus 2 is 8 6 plus 2 is 8 2 3 plus 1 is 4 6 minus 2 is 4 7 plus 0 is 7 4 minus 2 is 2 3 minus 1 is 2, 4 minus 2 is 2, 5 plus 0 is 5. So, mm, what is A here? I think something mistake. This is, sorry, 4. This is 6. This is 4 plus 2 is 6. So, we see that we got the original matrix that is A. So, hence proved 
that uh, any matrix any square matrix is equal to the sum of 1 by 2 a plus symmetric matrix and 1 by 2 of squeeze symmetric matrix so we have proved this that this is a is equal to a plus a transpose plus 1 by 2 a minus a transpose hence proved i hope you understood this and you can visit for the exercise in our website and with their answers.